It's a day that didn't seem possible months ago, a day some are calling a miracle. After being shot in the head last winter, Officer Eric Matson is home with his family this evening. Officer Matson has been in rehab in Omaha for most of the year. He flew home today, greeted by officers from across the uh, state. And as Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, he walked, something that almost seemed impossible just a few months ago. In the middle of a cold Monday, they came together from near and far. We were here from Sinansker, Iowa. We just wanted to come and see people welcome him home. Some had never met Officer Matson. Others know him well. Oh, he's super. a super guy. He was always there for anybody and um, always happy. Few know him better than these two. We're so proud of him for what he has done. Mm -hmm. I mean, nine months ago, we didn't know what this was all going to entail. Officer Matson's grandparents braved the cold just to catch a glance of their brave grandson as he quickly drove by amidst a parade of support. And it's not just Eric's co-workers who have been so excited to see him. His family hasn't even seen him because of COVID-19. He's basically done the last six months of his rehabilitation by himself. And we are just so proud of what he has done and accomplished what he has done in nine months and 13 days. And so many were so proud as he rode through town. And then after being bedbound for months, he walked into the station once again, receiving the highest of praise for fulfilling the highest of duties. Wonderful. It's a day you never expected. <laughs> in Wasika, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Officer Manson left with Sika to go to his hometown of Freeborn to celebrate with his wife, kids, and the rest of his family. For the first time in more than nine months, he will sleep in his own bed.